All right, so we're gonna be reviewing the stainless steel wet dry vac by heart. It's a uh, eight gallon capacity, six peak horsepower. It's a beauty, you know, it's got the little blue stuff on it. Stainless steel, you can see your kicks. And I've owned this for about two months. So I could tell you the durability on this and the power on this. Thumbs up for real. This is a strong vacuum. I paid 66 bucks for it at Walmart. I'll put the link in the description. You can buy it online, ship it right to your house. Um, it's got these attachments on it. It's got this one, a long one. This also comes off. This comes off too. The hose length. It's about seven feet, not too bad. It's standard. It's got more attachment. It's got the slim nose one. I like this for detailing. This is really good for detailing cars. It's got wheels on the back and it's got the handle. It's hella good to maneuver. It's light and the assembly for this was so easy all you had to do was put the wheels on little wobbles on there you did it does require a screwdriver or drill um it's sturdy you know you know it's not going nowhere it's pretty strong and these clips right here you know what's hot you know when you pick it up like this that's 32. that's one thing i gotta say that's good about this vacuum because a lot of them they're not that sturdy and it's a beauty, you know, so you're wearing. It did come with these attachments. These two got some microfiber brushes, real thin, real smooth. You add, you would add them to this. You would put it onto here, whatever you're choosing. And it's also got a blower to it too, right here. You just connect the hose, you disconnect it from there and you bring it right here. And it blows and now it's not no it's not a blow dryer or nothing like that you know but hey it's got some kick to it um the only disadvantage i i think about it is the storage when you're putting all your you know your stuff right here like it, it, it's it's the only setback for it is that it's not very sturdy if you walk around with it for a little bit and you know you're not on a very flat surface some of these attachments they will fall off and I guess you could put them in the inside, you know, but sometimes you just in and out quick. And this is a drain. This is the drain right here because it's also a wet vet and the water will come out. It's pretty nice. So I'm going to be testing the suction on this dirt. I got some dirt right here on my patio. I'm also going to show you guys in the car too. So let's get to it. That's with that attachment. Let me change up the attachment real quick. I like this one. This one works good. that attachment and this stuff's pretty good too straight up just like that let's see how that goes. all right 
So I got this back seat right here. You know, little crumbs, dirt right here. I got this, the, the, the thin one. I got this one right here. I like this one for detailing. This is, you know, you get in the little cracks, you get in all that with this one. I like this. So here we go. With no agitation, no brush, this, I don't know, I think that's gum. Gonna use a steam cleaner for that. This too, looks like the same. But with no agitation, no brush, you know, nothing to get these little little pockets of dirt out. It does pretty good, man, I can't complain. That's why I bought it, because of the horsepower and everything, the suction. The suction is really strong with this little tool, it's really good, so. That's that. All right, guys. So now we're gonna test out the blowing part of it. I got it open. I got it attached to the back, just like that. Goes into the back. Wanna blow away this dirt real quick, just to test it out. Here we go. <laughs> My overall review on the blower is it's not all that you know it's not a leaf blower like i was saying it's pretty good you know to dry something if you're trying to dry a car for detailing it's really good drying the tires is really good and it does blow like you saw like it blew out it's just you know don't expect leaf blower type stuff but it gets the job done so i would give it five stars for for that so I mentioned earlier too that it's a wet and dry vac, but I lost the wet filter. There's two types of filters it comes with, the regular cartridge filter and uh, you know the wet one that you put on and I lost it and I don't want to damage it. So I'm actually ordering another filter and I'll put the link in the description below. So just in case if you lose yours or you like to have extras backups, you can order them. But take my word for it, it's got like extractor type of feeling when it's sucking out water. I was using it on seats in the car car seats and it, it sucked it out really good. It dried it good, you know, so that too is pretty good. So overall, the vacuum is really good for the price. I mean, I, can, I, mean, I, I can't complain. It's a really good vacuum. It's good for detailing. You know, you're starting your business. You don't know what vacuum to buy. I suggest this one. This is good. It's got all of it, wet, dry, um, blower to dry the cars if you don't have a drying towel you know all of that it's a really good vacuum and the link is in the description to buy it thanks for watching have a good day